In this video, we introduce functors. It is helpful in mathematics to maintain a distinction between data, structure, and properties of a mathematical theory. Then a morphism between models of the theory are simply assignments of data which preserve structure. Properties play no role in the definition of a morphism since they are simply statements in the language of the theory built up from the data and the structure. Therefore, a morphism of categories is called a functor. And this functor f from category A to category B assigns A objects to B objects and A morphisms to B morphisms, such that the domain, codomain, identity, and composition is preserved. The assignment of object and morphisms is the mapping of data of a category, and the structure is the domain, codomain, identity, and composition. More formally, given categories A and B, a functor f from A to B consists of an assignment on objects, f sub naught, of a objects to b objects, and an assignment on morphisms, f sub 1, from a morphisms to b morphisms, such that for each a morphism f from a to b, the functor f on morphism f has domain fa and codomain fb. In other words, the functor f preserves the domain and codomain. And for each a object a, f on the identity of a, is equal to the identity on the object fa. In other words, the functor f preserves identities. And for each composable pair of amorphisms, f and g, f of g of f is equal to f of g precomposed by f of f. In other words, the functor f preserves composition. So we can separate this definition into an assignment on data such that the structure is preserved. For notational convenience, we will almost always write the assignment on objects f sub naught and the assignment on morphisms f sub 1 just by f. Now if we take the viewpoint that a category is equivalent to a graph with an algebra of paths, then a functor is a graph morphism which preserves the algebra of paths. Here zero paths correspond to identities and two paths correspond to composition. Preservation of the domain and codomain come from the definition of a graph morphism. We can also display the definition of a functor as a commutative metadiagram. We define A sub 2 as a collection of all composable pairs of morphisms in A, given here in pullback notation, and the same for B sub 2. We can then extend the assignment of morphisms to an assignment F sub 2 on composable pairs of morphisms. Then the structure of the category A can be given by the following maps, where composition is from A sub 2 to A sub 1, the domain and codomain are maps from A sub 1 to A naught, and the identity is from A naught to A sub 1. Then the assignments of the functor F on objects and on morphisms describes a functor if and only if the following diagram commutes sequentially, meaning any path from above to below will commute. If we accept the axioms of zermelo frankel with or without choice with Grotendieck universes as our foundations, we can then legitimize this diagram in a category of sets. It should be obvious that commuting diagrams are preserved by a functor, but we prove it nonetheless. So notice that each commuting diagram can be decomposed into commuting triangles. Then by definition of the functor, the commuting triangles are preserved by the functor which means that, for example, the image of this commuting triangle under the functor is also a commuting triangle. And finally, it might be helpful to also think of categories as a kind of geometric quasi-topological space where paths are composable morphisms, which are taken to other paths in B by a functor. This viewpoint takes on further significance when we talk about natural transformations.